देख रहे हो <laughs> इस सब को स्किप करो ना भैया आ गए हैं श्रीनगर इंटरव्यू लेने तो सीधा इंटरव्यू में जाओ मेरी बकवास नहीं अच्छी बकवास थी <laughs> अपनी बात को कौन बकवास बोलता है एक सेल्फ अवेयर आदमी जिसको पता है कि किसी चीज का भी कोई पॉइंट नहीं है क्योंकि यूनिवर्स में हम एक डस्ट के स्पेक के बराबर है लेकिन फिर भी यह इंटरव्यू बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इंडिया की पॉलिटिक्स कश्मीर की पॉलिटिक्स को अगर देख लें तो अगर सच में देखना चाहते हो कि कश्मीर के जो वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट लीडर में से जो बिगेस्ट लीडर हैं वो कैंडिड साथ ही में सब्सटेंस साथ ही में एक बढ़िया चैट में कैसे लगते हैं तो आ जाओ चलो सब्सक्राइब करो और ये पानी वानी पूछते हैं यहाँ पे कि नहीं कंप्लेंट करूंगा उम्र को आधे घंटे से उसके घर में हूं कोई पानी नहीं पूछ रहा है भाई क्या टाइम हो गया इज हियर ओ चलिए भैया मिस्टर अब्दुल्ला संदेश हाय नाइस मीटिंग यू टू कैन आई कॉल यू उमर और शुड आई कॉल यू मिस्टर अब्दुल्ला हिज डॉक्टर अब्दुल्ला नो You can sit on that one if you like. I'm not that famous yet. Not yet? See, no, no, I'm not. Come on, you've done some big interviews. Huh? Like what? Haven't you? You've done yeah. Rahul's also. Actually, you've seen? Huh? No more. Come on, yeah. No, no, I've seen. How generous! It's not why. Look, I'm doing an interview with you. Yeah, कुछ तो पता करना है कि है कौन बंदा. सही बात है. आपने मुझे इतना टाइम दिया है. Do an interview with you, and you have 10 people not seen. So, then I'm giving you this one hour. सही बात है. आपको लग रहा है आप सिर्फ एक घंटा दे रहे हो? डेढ़ घंटा. चलो जो भी है. ठीक है. I told three people in, मतलब three, मतलब क्योंकि तीन ही लोगों से बात की. And everyone think of you as the man in here. मतलब दे सेट द मैन ओनली थ्री टोल्ड यू नॉट नो बट आई डू मेट थ्री हैड यू मेट हैड यू मेट टेन मोर इफ आई वन वुड हैव टोल्ड यू वेयर यू आर वेस्टिंग योर टाइम इफ आई वाज अ सोफोलॉजिस्ट आई वुड से 100% ऑफ द पीपल आई स्पोक टू हैज डैम सेड यू आर द मैन आई कांट आर्ग्यू विद दैट या दे डिड से इट यू नो इट्स इट्स अ वेरी बिग ऑनर बिकॉज़ इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम सिटिंग विद समवन हुज बीन इंटरव्यूड बाय सिमी गरेवाल <laughs> like this is okay. the biggest honor so of my life. Hello, I'll I must remember to to throw that more often. <laughs> yes. uh, it's uh, not something but, that I But between Simi and to. Navika, who do you prefer more? Well, I definitely got better feedback from my interview with Navika than oh, I did course. from the interview with Simi Grewal. <laughs> of course. And in all fairness to Simi Grewal, it wasn't exactly a political interview and it was done when I was just starting out in politics. Yeah. What is the conversation that you can't have here in public? Is there a conversation so like any like what? Lots of things. Like give me one example. Sex. You can't have it here? How can you? Why can't you? Of course you can't. Isn't it a developed uh, place which stands high high on the HDI despite being despite having No, no we are very advanced. We just uh, don't talk about it. But why do we? Because we don't. You you merged us with the country after 5th August. So 5th August se pehle hum baat kar bhi le to aaj to hum karenge hi nahi. You are most welcome in our thank country. you sir. <laughs> Oh, Is it okay to joke about things like this? Ye yeah, matlab I'll put a comment on your video if it goes badly. Are nahi yaar. You should you I'm sure you I will. hold you responsible for the end of my career. <laughs> I'm sure you will retweet it. What? This interview. I'm sure you will. I'm I hope so. Yeah yeah. <laughs> And if I delete the tweet later, then we'll know. Give me a gun, bro. Is there a threat? No, 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 no. I don't hold threat. That, that's another thing I don't do. No, I don't threaten. Not even to people like Times Now, Republic. I don't threaten them. No, I just don't talk to them. But I'm sure you must be irritated after interviews like that. Hmm. I mean, I have a reasonably thick skin, but yeah, even a rhinoceros will get pierced by some of the rubbish that goes on. Yeah. Is there any news channel that you? These know? days, none. No. 
What Netflix show are you watching? Kathal. Kathal. Ah, ah that Jack that Fruit Mystery. I loved it. Ah, I love movies that make me laugh. Was, sorry, I'm watching City of Dreams. You watch stuff on uh, politics also. I enjoy them. You've seen House of Cards? I've seen House of Cards. Have you met House of Cards type characters who are that cunning? Are you one? I wish I was. I wish I was. Maybe I mean, you, you have to be completely ruthless and devoid of scruples and not care what bag what damage you leave in your wake. I'm sure you've uh, encountered people like I haven't. I think there are maybe a handful who come close. Are we naming names? No, we're not. <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> in the good old days, you didn't have Netflix and all these streaming services, mm. yeah. You watched whatever VHS tapes you had at home. Aaj to we don't even finish the series before we've decided to chhod do ye dekhna hi nahi hai. Netflix to credits bhi nahi dekhne deta hai. You don't. Huh? Bahut hi sad baat hai. Uh, you have to particularly choose to watch yeah, the credits. Yeah, you should write to Netflix about this. I don't like. As if they're waiting for my letter. Ki bas ye inhi ki chithi aani chahiye to bas hum sar aadmi ho aap. Are ha ha. Aur mazaak udao. Agar Twitter Modi ji ki sun sakta hai to Netflix aapki bhi sun sakta hai. Kitne hai uske follower? किसके मोदी साहब के पता नहीं कुछ होंगे मिलियंस में तो जिस दिन डिसाइड किया ट्विटर इंडिया में बंद तो होल ट्विटर विल शट डाउन इफ आई डिसाइड आई डोंट वांट टू ट्वीट एलोन मस्क विल नॉट नो हु आई एम एलोन मस्क या एलोन मस्क चपरासी विल नॉट नो हु आई एम ले छोड़ो यार बड़े बड़े लोगों की बड़ी बड़ी बात यू वांट टू गो टू मार्स वन डे मार्स हां नो मार्स लेके जा रहे हैं ना इट्स अ वन वे टिकट वापस तो नहीं सो रिटायरमेंट देन सही बात है फिर क्या करना है पॉलिटिक्स खत्म एनी नेटफ्लिक्स देयर दिस गवर्नमेंट हैड देयर वे दे वुड सेंड ऑल जेएनके पॉलिटिशियंस टू मार्स दे वुड फर्स्ट हैव अ कॉलोनी ऑफ देयर ओन ऑन मार्स उसको ठीक ठाक करते फिर माइनॉरिटी पॉपुलेशन के तौर पे हमें भेजते व्हाई वुड दे मेक मार्स अ मुस्लिम मेजॉरिटी ये बात भी ठीक है हमारे वहां झंडा गाड दिया तो फिर क्या फायदा हैव यू एवर सीन बिग बॉस Do you know what it is? Boss. Oh, the Salman Khan fronted one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not. Do you, do you know the concept? I know the concept because I saw the British version sometimes. Okay, Big Brother. Big Brother. It's basically what they. You did. locked them in a house. It's basically what they did to you. Yeah, except that they had company and I don't. I didn't. Okay. And thankfully, well, I don't. I. I mean, I could have. I must have been. I may have been on camera, hmm. but I didn't see them. I'm um, sure you were on camera. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I may have been on camera, yeah. but I didn't see them, and I didn't have a room where I could go and. Talk to the diary or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. वो नहीं था. तो फिर पांच अगस्त को ऐसा ही कुछ हुआ कि. No, I didn't know what was coming next. I mean, yeah. we knew something was coming. लेकिन क्या होने वाला था कुछ नहीं. Can we talk about what? Ex- can you talk to me in detail about what happened on that specific day with you? Well, it's actually started the night before. Okay. The telephones went down, and that's the first sign of trouble. Okay. The mobile internet went down. And on the night of the fourth. Uh, on the night of the fourth. Okay. Yeah. And then I started to hear. because the wifi at home was still working mm. so then i started to get messages on whatsapp that colleagues of mine had started to be rounded up oh man and had been taken to various police stations and stuff now in the past the practice had been that when mobile phones went down and even uh, fixed br- uh, line broadband internet went down fixed lines uh, would aapka regular telephone that mm. would continue to work okay to pagalon ki tarah hum we started giving each other our numbers mm. I called up anybody I knew. Said this is my landline number. Call, keep in touch. Okay. All the best. Ye wo phone rakha. Take care, ji. Goodbye, bye, bye. All the rest of it. Woke up in the morning. Nothing. No fixed line. No internet. Everything nothing. gone. Everything gone. And, uh, so then we knew that to expect something big. Then I stepped out and saw that I'd been locked into the house. Uh, there were big padlocks on the gates. I had two gates. Uh, into the house it's not this house right no next door okay. government house which i vacated okay and i was told i couldn't leave so okay fine and, and you were alone in the house i was alone in the house okay. uh, my dad had been locked in here uh, my sister who lives next door uh, she had been locked into hers aur ye jo officer the jn ke police ke the ya army ke the main dekha hi nahi kisi ko okay. mere mere apne security wale the jinhone taala laga hai they were under orders to So okay. they locked me in. So I switched on the television at eleven mm. o'clock because I knew Parliament was in session, mm. and I saw the Home Minister on NDTV uh, telling us what our future was going to be. So four, four की रात से पांच की सुबह तक कुछ और ख्याल आ रहे थे आपको कि क्या हो सकता है? अब तो मतलब रात को तो हम सिर्फ सोच रहे थे कि अब क्या होने जा रहा है? ठीक है. And then I was also thinking I should have downloaded and saved more shows. जो मैंने किया नहीं <laughs> uh, उतना तो चांस दे देते <laughs> ना वो नहीं मेरी अपनी गलती आई न्यू समथिंग वाज कमिंग कर देना था सो लाइक यू कुड रोम अराउंड इन द लाइक द गार्डन द लॉन या या अच्छा अच्छा जो मेन अराउंड इन द लॉन हां आई वेंट डाउन आई वेंट डाउन एंड वॉक्ड ऑन द ट्रेडमिल फॉर अ व्हाइल बट आई वाज सो डिस्ट्रैक्टेड आई वाजंट एबल टू रियली डू मच एंड एज सून एज आई केम अप फ्रॉम देयर देयर वर टू स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर्स वेटिंग फॉर मी एंड दे गिव मी माय डिटेंशन ऑर्डर 
Hmm. Okay, चलिए जाओ. Can you give me time to pack? Yes, sir. Please pack a bag. Now that time also, I thought, ठीक है जी, maybe a week or so, because hmm. 15th August was 10 days away. Yeah. So I assumed that look, they'll see off 15th August, and oh. then it'll be all done, and then we'll take it from there. So I packed accordingly, and I just said, look, I'd like to go and say bye to my dad. He was sitting in the garden here. Uh, exactly, I, I think exactly where we're sitting Thank here. You. And I said I'm off. So he said, "Where are you off to?" I said, "I'm off to the guest house. I'm being taken." So uh, you kept in the guest house then? Yeah, I was taken just up the road, But next sure. door to the Lalit Hotel. By the time I got there, uh, Ms. Mehbooba Mufti was already there. You were you were in the same campus? In the same in the same building. Talk. She was downstairs. I was directly above her. You couldn't talk. We were. I was told in no uncertain terms that uh, we were not to have any exchange of views. I said, "Okay, fine." I said, "At the best of times, we weren't exactly friends." <laughs> so <laughs> we'll we'll survive. All your life, you. You have fought exactly <laughs> i said we'll survive so when i realized that they will be so sort of we'll be allowed to use the compound and walk around and all uh, i asked one of the people there i said just go down and check with her as to what her convenient time to walk would be uh, so that we don't clash, clash. Now, yeah. huh. <laughs> she offered to send me up a cup of salty which i politely declined to buy i wasn't in the mood acha uh, i wasn't oh, in the mood oh were you scared about what was in no it? i wasn't nah, nah. <laughs> i'm joking nah. no no i know you are <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I was absolutely convinced that in detention she would poison me. <laughs> <laughs> Now this I'll cut and put in yeah, my trailer. <laughs> I'm sure you will. This is what gets me into trouble. Uh, so as I was saying, I'm sure I said, there is I, other stuff that gets you into trouble. I'm sure there is. Yeah. We're not even going to go there. When 15th August came and went, and we hadn't been released, mm. and I thought, okay, maybe Eid. I asked my jailers. I said, look, I really don't want to offer Eid prayers alone. Would it be all right if you guys transport me to where the, all the other captives are being kept? Hmm. And then you bring me back. Uh, at least I won't be alone for prayers. So I kept my clothes pressed, kept my hair tied, and for the eight months that I was there, they stayed hanging like that only. No, 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 Come on, come on. Henry, come here, Gudu. Come here, come here. Come here. इसको पटा पहना दे ना. यहाँ से लेके इसको walk कराओ. Is it all taken care of? He is having a biscuit. <laughs> okay. Is it he? Yeah, he is he. I mean, he... his brother. He is. Uh, I got him from Abhin of Bindra. Acha yeah his brother is with Abhinav so his brother is an olympian he's a politician his brother is an olympian he's a politician <laughs> yeah. he can and they it. and they mix no so well cuz what is sports without politics of course to jab abrogation hua to ek kahan tha isi ghar mein tha he was next door acha so who is taking care of him the staff was there acha thankfully achha. he was there Thank once he came to jail to visit me acha uh, he came for 5 minutes uh, aake chala gaya with permission अच्छा हाँ एवरी थिंग वॉज देर विद परमिशन खाना क्या मिलता था वहाँ पे और डिड यू हैव टू गुक योर नहीं नहीं खाना थैंकफुली आई मैनेज फूड वॉज अलाउड टू बी ब्रॉड फ्रॉम होम ऑल्सो बट एवरी थिंग वॉज लाइक थरली चेकड दैट वी वॉन्ट स्नीकिंग नोट्स इन दर दाल और हाइडिंग दाल वॉज चेक दाल माई हाउस होल्ड स्टाफ सॉक्स वर टेकन ऑफ एंड दैट टोज वर पार्टेड टू सी देर नो नोट स्टार्ट बिटवीन द टोज This is what they do to a former chief minister. Yeah, this is what they did to us. When I used to go for a walk, my cupboard used to be searched behind my back. Why would this be suspicious of you and what? I don't you know what they do. thought I was. Who I who they thought I was communicating with? I mean, you are mainstream Indian politics, and so well, I'd like to think so, but they didn't treat us like that. Do you think those two don't trust you with their allegiance to India? That's a question only they can answer. But what do you think? I don't know. I, all I know is separatist leaders. were roaming around in khan market while mainstream politicians here were locked up but do you not see similar dictatorial tendencies in nehru look it's difficult to pass judgment on a situation i'm living through sahi baat hai when comparing it to a situation baat where all i do is read about it ha ah, but i mean i mean it is your lineage and i'm sure you have no no true you aren't denying that he had i don't know whether he had i don't know whether he had look i don't know what what was fed, what information was fed to him what nehru was told by his advisors in terms of what my grandfather's aspirations are or what he wants now one hears a lot of things but i guess only nehru would have been able to answer that so Matlab, pandit uh, nehru jailed my grandfather yeah. uh, having seen his government dismissed but then my grandfather also cried 
He wept when he heard that Pandit Nehru had died. If my grandfather bore no ill will for the way he was treated, but in his se, own lifetime, jo, jo, I, I guess he. What you can ascribe to Modi Shah? Can't you then take it to? Well, say, Modi Shah. They did it to the entire JNK. I wouldn't be bothered if we had been detained for eight months or a year or whatever. If JNK hadn't been dismembered and and uh, treated the way it had been, I mean, a lot happened in JNK after. My grandfather was was jailed. A lot of the way, 370 was diluted. Uh, happened at that time, yeah. but it's complete and total erosion. Uh, that hadn't even happened then. But I mean, who knows? As, as a as a citizen of this country, I'm just trying to understand whether what happened on the 5th August is actually that unprecedented, or has then no, has, that been, has that been the trend? Wait, wait, with let me let me put it. Uh, how I mean, in, how is it unprecedented? Huh. A, you completely. I mean. What the Congress did diluted it. Hmm. What these people did completely removed it. One, two. It's the only time in the history of independent India that a state was degraded to a union territory, and not just one but two, without any consent of the people of JNK. You basically took upon yourself the powers of the assembly, and then gave yourselves the power of the constituent assembly. And as the then governor in an interview has said. He got the paper the morning that he issued the order. He was told, "Yahan daskat karo." He blindly signed it, and and that was it. So no consultation, no discussion, nothing. I am trying to understand that this is the pattern of Kashmir to deal with the government of Kashmir. Because the majority of the government, the Nehru, Indra, and then Modi, in the middle of the Rajiv Gandhi, was only five years. So, when the majority comes, 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 the Whatever that means, क्या हमेशा complete majority जब आती है तब ऐसा ही pattern हो जाता है कि कुछ अपने ऊपर ही mental ले लेते हैं कि हमें पता है कश्मीर के लिए क्या क्या करना है. That is true. Why are you forgetting that a part of JNK is still with Pakistan? Are you writing that off? And if you are not writing that off, what are you doing about it? Why don't you talk about the part of JNK that's with China? Do you do you ever hear the BJP talk about it? They talk about that side of Kashmir once in a while. Do they ever talk about the part of erstwhile JNK that is with China, that whole Aksai chain area? कभी उसका जिक्र होता है? जब आपने जब आपने करना है तो फिर सारे की बात करिए ना? आप सिर्फ उस चीज की बात करते हैं जो आपके लिए ज़्यादा आसान हो। वो गलत है ना? Is your phone tapped? We've been brought up to assume that our phone is tapped. That time it was the concept of a landline. वो तो आसान था. Very easy to do in the telephone exchange. And you would often hear the line click. अच्छा. After oh yeah, you would you would hear the line click. You would hear the echo. Sometimes they were stupid and coughed into the phone while you were on. What are you saying? I'm telling you. What are you saying? Yeah yeah. Seriously, you would hear them coughing into the phone. Man. And then you would tell them, "Bhai, sir, your phone नीचे रख लीजिए क्या कर रहे हैं आप?" क्या बात? हाँ हाँ. We would. I mean. Whether we, I mean, whether they were there or not, but uh, uh, you heard them. Coming, yeah, you heard the echo. You heard. Oh, I mean, you knew that there was something there. And my dad particularly. I hardly ever talk in the car. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, I assume that uh, the car is not the place to talk. Or tell me. Boys, you are asking questions. You, you ask me. I will tell you. Who is your favorite cricket captain of India? But Dhoni or Ganguly? Come on. No, why? Why not Virat Kohli? हाँ, of course, very successful captain. मुझे लगा इस टाइम आपने देखा नहीं होगा। No, no, and also, I mean, I was quite impressed with the stand he took when one of his players was being badly trolled. Mohammad Shami, yes. I think it takes guts in this current surcharged environment to stand up when the rest of your team were quite happy to keep shut. So hats off to him. Did you ever play? No, I played for the Ministry of External Affairs. Acha, you did? Yeah. Against whom? Against the officers or against I think another ministry. Acha, I thought. But I was a minister at that time, so I probably got thrown. Sir, marry him, sir, marry him. Sir, I ball up for you. Tea, I'll give you. You've seen that video where an officer dismisses Akhilesh. Like he bowls a ball to Akhilesh. They don't dismiss me. I dismiss them. No, but Akhilesh is bowled, and that officer then sits and cries because he's dismissed the chief minister. I don't blame the guy. UP dismissing the chief minister in a cricket match is he mad? तो उसके बाद क्या होगा उसके साथ? क्या पता? No, no. Right now he must be. Right now he must be in the chief minister's office. अब अच्छा होगा. अब तो अच्छा होगा. अभी तो he must be very close to. अब तो हो सकता है वो BJP का MLA भी हो गया हो. हाँ, वो भी हो सकता है. अगर retire हो गया हो. वो भी हो सकता है. But when my father was chief minister, they had a uh, chief ministers eleven versus the sure. chamber of commerce eleven, uh -huh. and the chamber of commerce was doing particularly well. I have it on very good authority uh, 
that the captain or somebody of very senior in the ch chamber team mm. was called by the then chief secretary and said that your victory will not go down well and you might want to <laughs> rethink your strategy. <laughs> what are you saying? In the middle of the match? <laughs> While the match was going on. <laughs> that uh, uh, instruction reached my father. Uh -huh. uh, and my father told the chamber that after this, if you lose, you guys have had it. Oh man. So they were torn between what they were told by the chief secretary and what they were told by the chief minister and I think the chief secretary is 11 ultimately lost. So ye afsar log apne aap se ye sab karte hain. Karte hain aur nahi kyun nahi karenge? Matlab aap keh rahe ho ki doctor sahab ne unhe kuch nahi bola tha. Usne apne aap se bola ki bhai hame mat hara de. Ha. Kya hoti hai ek afsar ki psyche kya hoti hai? Wo afsar se pooch raha hai main kabhi afsar raha nahi. Aapne afsaron ke sath itna itna mera mera afsaron ke sath theek hi raha. Dekhna afsar afsar hai. Wo charti suraj ko salam karega. And that what that's what you have to expect. The, I think the mistake we as politicians make is that officers are loyal to us. They're not. They're loyal to themselves. They're loyal to the chair that they occupy. They will go wherever they see the direction of power flowing. I was an ex-chief minister in 2019 also. I'm an ex-chief minister now. I have never had more officers come and wish me on Eid as they did after the parliament elections of 2019 because they thought bas bante bas inko das din mein chief minister banna hai. ऊपर से लेके नीचे तक मैं थक गया उस दिन अफसरों को ईद मुबारक कहते कहते देन वी वेंट इन दैट ईद आई वॉज अ लोन द नेक्स्ट ईद आई केम आउट मजाल है कोई एक अफसर दिखे कहीं पर गवर्नमेंट वॉज ओवर थ्रोन इन एटी फोर आई सो इट इन नाइनटी आई सो इट आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड एंड टू वन Mufti Sayyid became chief minister the first time. I saw it now. So for me, it was less of a shock. For some of my colleagues, they found it very difficult to to understand. कि ये होई क्या ये गए कहाँ ये सब? जैसे कल मैं अपने local driver से बात कर रहा था. उसने बोला कम से कम ये है कि यार जो सात में से तीन दिन श्रीनगर बंद रहता था, अब वो नहीं रहता है. Really, that is true. Uh, I mean, you don't see the sort of uh, shutdowns and things like that. But then that same taxi driver was the one who kept his car off the road. I mean, you ask him, why was it that pre 5th August 2019 he would keep his taxi off the road and now he doesn't? I mean, that's something he has to. I can't explain it. I I don't uh, grudge them that. Uh, everybody should earn. Of course. I was never a I was never a supporter of shutdowns. I've always felt that JNK has suffered on account of them, uh, but they were part of the wider problem. Uh, they weren't uh, the problem uh, in themselves. Mm. So even though today you don't have uh, those sort of shutdowns, it doesn't mean that the political sentiment that went behind them has completely disappeared. Uh, so where it's gone, how it will manifest itself uh, in the future, no idea. How do you see the future? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm sure it's it's it's, a, sure it's an uncertain one. Well, of course, my thoughts are there, but it's 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 an uncertain one. How long will this period of flux last? When will they go ahead and and sort of restore uh, the state to the right that it has, which is an elected government, and then fulfill their own commitment uh, to restoring JNK as a full-fledged state Correct. and not as a union territory? I guess there are only two people in the country who know that, uh, and neither of them is sharing that information with the rest of us. So. We live as best we can with the uncertainty. When you talk about the masses of Kashmir and Jammu, what do you think is their outlook towards what happened? Or, or are they saying, "Hame to rozi roti kamani hai"? It's not just rozi roti. Uh, part of it is I mean, rozi roti is important, but part of it also is, I mean, your self-respect, your dignity, uh, your uh, economic survival. But is, is the average Kashmiri hurt? The average Kashmiri sentiments are hurt. The average Kashmiri now feels that their future is 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 darker, uh, even from a from an economic perspective. Don't go by tourism numbers, because tourism doesn't percolate everywhere. Tourism is good in Srinagar, it's good in Sonmarg, it's good in Gulmarg, it's good in Pahalgam, one or two other places. The rest of Kashmir doesn't see tourism. They rely on government jobs. Where are those jobs today? And it's simply it, it, not possible. Is the average resident agreeing with what you're saying, or do you have you have to obviously project this perception right now because there's a certain democratic Look, what value. Look, what the average person today feels is, I mean, at least the hoteliers and those connected with the tourism mm. industry, is that there is a bit more stability that they can look forward to, okay. because the law and order situation is better. Okay, that I'll give. Mm. I I will grant that. the sort of protests and and uh, the possibility of trouble uh, is a lot less now 
than it was earlier and that's happening because it's become a ut or is i, I mean, well there are many reasons for it i might be biased in the reasoning i give aap batao aapka kya karna no, hai i'm as far as i'm concerned this government has come down with such a heavy hand hmm. uh, on anything that it seems is even remotely termed as as dissent uh, that there's no there's no possibility of okay. of any disagreement there's not a single newspaper today that has the courage of its convictions Uh, to write anything other than what the government tells it to write the big newspaper here they were told who they should hire to do the day to day running of their newspaper and they hired the guy they were for told by whom government of india and they hired that person and they hired the person sahi ek naukri to mil gayi kisi ko and he, well he, yeah <laughs> he got his dictation every day or every other day from raj bhavan to matlab dande ke zor pe ho raha hai ho raha to theek hai dande ke zor pe hi law and order aapko theek hai jaise bhi hai Hey, but there no, is. No, but it's it's uh, gracious and generous of you to concede that point. No, no, I, I I would be lying if I said no. No, things are still. I mean, on the surface, things are calm. ठीक है. That much one has to accept. Okay. Whether that means that the sentiment that drove previous protests has gone is a matter on which maybe we and I can disagree. तो I believe the sentiment still exists. Okay. In what way it will manifest itself, I don't know. और वो sentiment क्या है? the sentiment that doesn't agree that jammu and kashmir should be a part of this country it's the sentiment i fought against all the all, my entire political career how tall is the prime minister you know i have noticed you are pretty tall i have so i've met I, him is, is he shorter I, than you i honestly i have noticed but i don't think he is i think they probably roughly about the same height maybe an inch here or there absolutely much 6 foot ka prime minister nahi must be about the same i'm not a 6 footer i'm about an inch shorter than that acha theek hai i'm an inch shorter than you i think You are what? I'm like five. I claim to be five ten, but I think in reality I'm five nine and three quarters. <laughs> I'm one of those. <laughs> okay, so I'm about five ten and three quarters. Okay. कभी किसी को पीटा आपने? बस स्कूल में तो स्कूल में तो पिट भी गए, पीटा भी. Is there anyone famous who was with you in school? You you went to which school? You went I to went Sana, to Lawrence right? School, Sana. You have to go there, wale. Ne, Jai Wadia. Acha. Ah, he was junior to me in school. Maro no, I didn't beat him. <laughs> no, no. He was junior <laughs> to me in school. <laughs> Ness was Ness was my batchmate. Ha. Who else? Sukhbir was senior to me in school. Badal. Badal. Addicted to coke. No, no. Addicted to diet coke. Yeah, yeah. yeah be careful. <laughs> I don't addicted to coke. Marwao gave me. I said no, no. no diet said, coke only. No, no, Sukhbir. Co- Sukhbir used to run me up to school sometimes. <laughs> If Kashmir hadn't gone badly, Sukhbir would have had a hotel in Kashmir. Uh, in in 89 88 89 he was looking for land here uh, instead then he ended up in gurgaon puja bedi huh? bollywood Ay, my batch who doesn't know my, puja bedi my batch my generation knows puja bedi you yeah, okay i'm i'm old enough you know <laughs> chalo theek hai uh, puja bedi was your batchmate my batchmate uh. did you guys date ever <laughs> <laughs> anyway moving on <laughs> There moving is on, I will moving ask her on, then. <laughs> moving swiftly on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, who else? I'm who else? I'm a fan of her father. Kabir Bedi. What personality? Yeah. Is he was here for dinner the other day. Huh? Yeah, yeah. My nephew grilled him because he's because? a big Bond fan. No, and the moment he heard Octopussy, oh. arey, uske baad to the questions never ended. <laughs> How was it like to film it? What was Roger Moore like? How was it on the train? How did you film this? And then he was explaining the whole chroma background and the sa- stunts oh, and man. good fun. What has been your craziest birthday party? Aaj ho kuch college college ka sunao chalo. No, it wasn't crazy, but I, my 21st birthday coincided with uh, Supriya Sule's uh, wedding. Have you seen that interview? I haven't seen Supriya. You must. It is the best interview till date. Okay, I'll definitely yeah, yeah. look out for Supriya's yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Because I was living with the Pawars in Bombay when I was in college. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was living with the Pawars. What's that? Yeah. So I was there for Supriya's wedding, and on my birthday, the Godrejes, hmm. uh, Adi and Parmeshwar Godrej, had thrown a party for Supriya. So that kind of became Achoo. also my twenty-first birthday. And uh, Mrs. Godrej gave me uh, a little bit of money for my birthday. How much? Uh, I think it was about fifteen thousand at that time, which was a king's ransom. In ninety one, we said. In ninety one, oh. and I had a gypsy uh, in, in Bombay. Bombay. Yeah, oh, and man. I loved it. <laughs> so the first thing I did was take that money, and I went to a car guy, oh. and I had the exhaust changed, I had the head shaved, I had the carburetor <laughs> done, and I converted it into one of those rally things, and we ripped around Bombay for a oh, year man. after that. It was great fun. Thoda political jao. Kaha? Hmm. Jao. Not because you took names, you took Subir's name, you took Supriya's name. I'm sure you've had to deal with people who you know are corrupt. I mean, there is corruption in politics, much like any other profession, but there is corruption, and corruption was one of the biggest things that took, I think, UPA two out of power. Mm. 
And so, have you had to be cordial or friends with people who you know are corrupt? Who am I to sit in judgment over people? Yeah. ऐसा तो नहीं है कि नहीं होता है हाँ. तो आपको आप भी तो ऐसे लोगों को जानते होंगे पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज हैव टू रन यू शो मी अ सिंगल पॉलिटिकल पार्टी दैट रन्स ऑन चैरिटी नो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिविजुअल्स एंड नॉट पार्टीज नो अब पार्टीज का इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड्स वाला इशू वो वो अपने आप में एक अलग चीज है वो आरटीआई के अंडर आना चाहिए कि नहीं वो एक अलग चीज है पर पीपल अक्यूमुलेटिंग वेल्थ फॉर देमसेल्व्स पर्सनल आई हैव नॉट रियली हैड आई मीन आई डोंट हैव आई डोंट आई मीन फ्रेंड्स are not in i mean i don't have that many friends in political mm. circles and none that i would be able to point a finger at and say well this one definitely mm. has gone from 0 to 100 in 10 seconds mm. none that have sort of become overnight millionaires some have been canny in their investments why grudge them that have you ever had the temptation of because as someone who runs a party runs a state you have you are privy to more you knowledge have to you look you have i mean at the end of the day you have to run a party ha huh. you have to make sure that the party is solvent enough to be able to run it runs through means that maybe sometimes are dicey i wouldn't i mean are electoral bonds dicey absolutely but they're legal the whole thing in politics is about finding the gray areas do you believe political parties funding should come under the rti or like there there should be more transparency in that i believe political parties would benefit from more transparency why not but then the i mean it should be the, the yardstick should be applied equally oh, of course not that be. you have the ability to sort of get parliament to do your bidding and therefore everybody else becomes more transparent while you use an ordinance to make yourself more opaque it's a fact that only one political party has truly benefited from electoral bonds which one the cpm <laughs> <laughs> i thought so <laughs> it's so obvious so obvious i mean they've gone from here to here yeah, absolutely And how can you even ask me <laughs> who's guy. better looking you or sharukh शाहरुख खान अरे चलना क्या बात कर रहे हो यार उमर अब्दुल्ला कमाल ओ हजारों करोड़ का फिल्म स्टार और कहा मैं नहीं नहीं शाहरुख खान है विदाउट अ डाउट लोग मर मिटते हैं उसके लिए पर गुड लुकिंग तो गुड आई मीन ही स्टैंड्स ऑन हिज गेट एंड देयर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल जस्ट फॉलोइंग ओवर ईच अदर टू कैच अस वो तो आपके यहां भी हो जाएगा जब कोई पिक्चर बनी है आप बाहर एक बंदा दिखाओ मुझे जो पुलिस या सीआईडी का ना हो आई हैव नॉट कम अक्रॉस वेरी मेनी पीपल विद एज मच स्टार पावर हु हैव एज मच ह्यूमिलिटी considering the guy could be as as arrogant as he wanted to be and and you would understand it it would be justified yeah, i've seen far less successful people than him a lot more arrogant how arrogant he earned are you? a lot of risk. do you have no i i have arrogance? i have i mean uh, we all have a certain streak of arrogance in us i'd like to think i'm i'm not as arrogant as i could be uh, but we're not i mean none of us are as as humble as we should be acha bola hai to ये दिस इज लाइक कोटेबल कोर्ट है आई ट्राई अच्छा करते हो 20 साल से कर रहे हो वही मैं चलो आपने आपने कह दिया पॉलिटिशियन थोड़ा सा तो तजुर्बा हो ही गया एज डज ब्रिंग अ सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ विजडम एंड यू कैन नॉट विश इट अवे बाल इसी तरह सफेद नहीं होते डू यू डाई नो आई स्टॉप्ड व्हेन आई टर्न 40 अच्छा बिफोर दैट यू डिड आई डिड I wanted to maintain my youth. <laughs> do you feel young right now? But yeah, I'm definitely fitter than I was 10 years ago. You do I can run further now than I could when I think I can run further now than I could when I was in school. Yeah. Do you train every day? I I exercise at least 4 5 days a week. How much time in the day? Not more than an hour. Okay. Weights or like twice or thrice a week weights and okay. other days I go for a run. Where? I go to the golf course. You play golf? I tried I really tried because my dad was really keen that I should. He golfs well. He loves the game. Huh. Uh, but does he go, does he golf well? No, he's been a good golfer. Acha fit he. He's been a good golfer and but aapko nahi when he hai. plays, I really tried. And I was also told it's very relaxing. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's bloody stressful, yeah. <laughs> Stand like this, hold this, do that, yeah. No, no, bhai, where is the time to relax? <laughs> the whole time you're wondering which way your foot is facing, which way your knee is going, how far out your backside is going. Uh, he's here. Uh, oh, I should just stand and say hi. <laughs> Come on. Had a good one. Very good. Huh? Excellent. Your team, their hospital. They gave you this. Don't know no, you wore this just now. Like this must be from Bangalore. The cap. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh huh. Yeah, long drawn out. YouTube channel. Right. I'll finish this. Well, I'm good. Sorry, Chal. No, no, it's fine. Does he give interviews now? He does. 
Okay. Yeah. But not to people like me. No, no, he okay. If you put in a good word. If you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go. Hey, look, everyone thinks their interviews are damn good until they blow up in their faces. Sahi baat hai. Yeah. Sahi baat hai. Uh, do you have a Netflix account which you share with Dr. Saab or? No, he has his own. Hey? Ah, he has his own. Why? He'll, he'll, watch, he'll watch what he wants, I watch what I want. Why should he check my profile to see what I'm <laughs> watching? Yes, I guess. Hey, no, do I want to see what he's watching? Sahi baat hai. No, but inevitably he watches what I recommend. Achha. Because I know what he likes. What does he like? Oh, Mar Dhar Wali. He likes ah, action. He likes all that. Like these days. He's what? from the violent generation. Huh? <laughs> no, he just likes, he doesn't like things that sort of drag on. Ah, uh, so he doesn't want long television series. But that said, I was amazed. He went through this uh, Turkish drama, uh-huh. Erd- Erdogul, uh-huh. yeah, uh-huh. which was a huge hit here. He watched Achha. it, he watched it post detention during COVID. And that has hundreds of episodes. And I thing. would never have imagined that my father would have the patience <laughs> to sit through. He normally, he doesn't sit through an eight episode show. Eight to chalo is the upper limit. Hmm. Thus, I don't think he'll reach. Us mein to 500 se zyada episode honge. Someone who can sit in parliament can sit through anything. No? No. <laughs> no. Ab to building khair dusri ho jayegi. But which hall do you prefer more? The Rajya Sabha hall or the Lok Sabha hall? I want to see the new parliament. Ah, wo to. Uh, Otherwise, I preferred central hall. Very nice. Good coffee, sandwiches. Achha. Bed ke gappe maro. You sit there, have a coffee, and uh, it's all subsidized. You pay for it. Of course. Uh, your taxes pay for our coffee. <laughs> of course. Uh, no complaints. No, no. Good to your tax. Good to have your coffee. <laughs> Is the Alliance active? The Gupkar Alliance active? And we're individually busy. Okay. Collectively, no. But will you be, मतलब लोकसभा के साथ में लड़ने का plan है या? इस तरह की कोई तो बात है नहीं. Has your relationship with Mahbuba ji changed after abrogation? I think it has in the sense that we've circumstances forced us to work. together you have the same cause to fight for now well that cause will continue regardless of whether we fight elections together or not okay electorally what happens time will tell i always feel that personal hatred should not enter into politics but that's not what happens but how do you not hate a person that's the, well i mean i wish it wasn't the case i'm sure you also I hate wish, people i wish i wish we could be i wish we could be more polite with people that we disagree with which is why i have always said i have political opponents i don't have enemies I don't consider my opponents to be my enemies. I oppose them politically. I don't bear them ill will. I I I don't wish their demise politically maybe, but not more than that. But, but, I don't wish them harm. But ho sakta hai jin logo ki policy se itne logo ke I'm not about any specific individual, but if a person's policy decision impacts lives, I still oppose them, but I do, I don't see why I have to hate them. If if you know they have ill will, then I don't know. If, I still... if you're convinced about it, why be so idealistic? Is what it's I not a question of being idealistic. But, but why be so polite and why why not? I, I just I mean, individual people, individual. I I mean, honestly, I'm telling you, I will. I, uh, it's just the way it is. You can. I mean, why can't you be polite? Why can't you have a polite conversation with somebody that you're opposed to? But if that disagreement causes people to possibly die, and you don't have to. You don't have to reconcile yourself to that disagreement. You uh-huh. don't have to endorse it. I'm saying you you fight it tooth and nail. You do everything in your power to 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 stop it. But can you not do that without hate? Maybe you can't. I don't know. Mm. Maybe you can't. The fight, I think, ultimately, according to the narrative of the opposition or RG, is against the hate. And so, how can you fight hate with hate? Yeah. And so, in a way, you'll have to employ other means. But will those be successful in these times can they work right now I and mean, you can agree to disagree and oppose each other tooth and nail without sort of injecting hatred into people you know, the problem is where we not only are we opposing people we are also doing it in a way in which we are sort of making people hate each other we are making communities hate each other this the sort of abject sort of just going nafrat that you see in people's eyes भाई बट क्या इससे पहले धर्म यूज नहीं हो रहा था उमर नहीं नहीं हो रहा था कौन किसने और क्या नफरत के नाम पे कैंपेन नहीं लड़े जा रहे थे इतना मुझे नहीं पता आप बताओ मुझे तो नहीं लगता इतना था मुझे तो नहीं लगता इतना था इतना नहीं पर अगर था भी तो आज का लेवल अनएक्सेप्टेबल है मे बी दवेयरनेस ऑफ इट इज मॉट टूडे How difficult is it to be moderate these days? Moderate, liberal, whatever you, especially in terms of religion. I think you are expected to be more hardline. So and do, do, and, do and, hard, and hardline sort of sentiment. I think it it 
becomes inevitable because it's a chain reaction. When you see large parts of the country heading in that direction, mm. then it's very difficult to stop others also. But do you have this struggle with you? Because you're also dealing with a region where religion is important, much like all parts of India. But here yeah. in Jammu and Kashmir, while religion is important, Jammu and Kashmir has also traditionally been a very accepting place. I mean, in spite of being a Muslim majority state, we were one of the first states to ban cow slaughter. Didn't need to do it. You haven't done it in Goa, you haven't done it in Kerala, you haven't done it anywhere in the Northeast, in spite of being a Muslim majority state, because of respect for uh, the sentiments of what the year, minority what population. This is why I think, if I'm not mistaken, in my grandfather's time, traditionally governments have, have renewed it mm. because they understand sentiments have to be respected. Not for nothing was this one of the most peaceful places even in 47. Even when Jammu was up in flames, Kashmir was, was, was more peaceful. Uh, so yes, which is why what happened in 1990 with the Kashmiri Pandit exodus is a huge blot on our copybook. And it's something that we find very difficult to live down. Because otherwise, we have prided ourselves on being a, a, a society where sort of we mix very easily. Uh, one of my uh, endearing memories is, is going with him to Iqbal Park uh, to watch Ravan being burnt on the Sera. Every year, I would sit with him. And that was that was part of who we were. I can't imagine in today's environment, uh, chief minister of a Hindu majority state uh, coming and, and Ab celebrating. Bhi nahi ho sakta hai. Uh, you don't even have an iftar Ab party any longer. Ab toh, bhi ho ab toh, bhi ab to ab if iftar pe bhi ab matlab ek ke liye nahi ho. Aur ab skull cap to galti se bhi nahi pehen sakte ab. Agar ab Hindu leader yeah. ho, wo to bahut mushkil ho gaya. Yeah. Matlab impossible ho. Which is uh, which is again it's unfortunate. Look because uh, I mean my religion is my religion. Okay, I have to have the confidence in myself that I will be true to my religion regardless of what happens. So, if I am a Hindu and wearing a skull cap is going to make me feel less Hindu, then, then what is my commitment to my religion? Or for that matter, as a Muslim, if I go and visit the Golden Temple or I go and uh, visit Mat uh, Khir Bhavani, does that make me uh, less of a Muslim? Does it mean that somehow I am I'm disrespecting my religion? I, I'd like to believe not. I'd like to believe that, that, that my religion is founded on the basis of acceptance and, and uh, uh, respect for, for other lines of thought. There's no longer a case where you can do it now. I, I still believe in JNK we can. But religion or state ka rishta kaise dekhte ho Umar? In an ideal world, Abhi church and state would be separate. But in India mein toh aisa nahi well, wait, Tell me where in the world it is now. A country yeah. like a country like the United Kingdom in that respect is 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 very, I mean it's, it's a strange country. Mm. Where you have a practicing Hindu as the prime minister. The only thing is that right now that prime minister hasn't won a direct election. So you can't exactly say the British people have put him there. So I'll be more convinced if he were to win a direct election and, and be there with his own mandate. But even then, the fact that, chalo, the, the people of London have voted uh, the son of an immigrant as the mayor of London. It's not a joke. But Can aapke you le... imagine a situation like that here? Is the ideal situation where the church in its broad term and state are different? I think that would be ideal for any democracy. But can it happen? It can't be. It can't happen. The country that, that I mean, really champions this cause, the, the Americans, are they, I mean, is there a... Not at all. There, not at all. If our leaders are photographed and filmed going into temples and mosques and gurdwaras, theirs make sure they get seen going into church on Sunday. So, I mean, what is ideal and what is realistic? But it's a logistical difficulty. If you do tribes, you can solve it. So, you can't actually. But keep... if you have, I mean, if church and state are separate, uh -huh. then you're able to do it on merit. Na? But then that merit will be questioned and... That, that's where... The, but if there is a complete dis, disconnect between church yeah. and state, then there is no scope for questioning the merit. So what should happen? Do you mean, you can't campaign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, it is not possible. Do you think it will be in the future? It will not happen. In your lifetime? It will not happen. In fact, church and state will become more enmeshed. Everything is about religion. As you age, do you feel like you've become more religious? Are you religious? Are you I'm, I'm, I'm a religious, spiritual person. I am who I am. I, I mean, I don't wear my uh, religion on my sleeve, uh, but uh, that's, a, that's a personal choice I make. Is the average Indian Muslim... The moment I try and answer that, huh. the first thing people will tell you is that I'm not an average Indian Muslim. I'm a very, 
I'm a very fortunate Indian Muslim. One, I happen to be an Indian Muslim in the only Muslim majority state. Therefore, I don't know the problems that a minority Muslim would have living in, let's say, Madhya Pradesh or UP. I am also a Muslim. But I'm sure from, you hear I'm things. also a Muslim from a well-to-do family. Then I'm also a Muslim from a politically very influential family. So there is no way on earth I can even begin to tell you how an average Muslim in the rest of the country is feeling. Because if I try and do that, then I'm being really unfair to them, uh, which is not right. But as an observer of things, how do you see it? I see that I see their lives are, are, are difficult at the moment. I don't envy the position they're in. This overt majoritarianism that we see in India today must be extremely scary for them. It must be difficult for them not to know when they're going to get beaten up next. I can't imagine what it must be like for them getting on a train, not knowing what will happen to them. I can't imagine what it must be like for them to think about sending their children away for education, wondering whether their children will be safe. Do you see these as exceptions or is no, has that become is, the norm I, th I think unfortunately we see more of this now than we used to. I don't believe that any community should be appeased. But I don't believe a community should be victimized just because you want to prove that you're not appeasing them. Today, unfortunately, Muslims in India are very often being targeted simply because powers that be want to say that But today, in order to prove that you are not appeasing, you are going the other extreme, you are actually victimizing. And that's wrong. Yeah. Otherwise, take the, otherwise, take the word secular out of the constitution. You have a brute majority, do आपने तो जम्मू कश्मीर में करके साबित कर दिया आप कुछ भी कर सकते हो तो कर लो फिर हटा दो एंड हु डू यू होल्ड अकाउंटेबल फॉर दिस सिचुएशन द एंड ऑफ द डे हु रन्स द हु रन्स मोस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री टुडे द बीजेपी दे रन द द बेल्ट्स वेयर ऑल दिस इज हैपनिंग आर आर बीजेपी डोमिनेटेड स्टेट्स डू यू सी यू होल्ड आई मीन आई कैन हार्डली होल्ड द ऑपोजिशन रिस्पांसिबल फॉर दिस डू यू सी एनी ट्रूथ नो ऑब्वियसली नॉट द ऑपोजिशन बट डू यू सी एनी ट्रूथ इन द फैक्ट in what they say about appeasement happening before 14 or or the congress have you read the sachar committee report i have have you seen how, how what it has said about the economic state of muslims where is the appeasement see this is this is where i have a problem with with people who then turn around and say all this are bhai if we had been appeased then we should have been at the top of the economic pyramid along with adani ambani tata birla they should have been another uh, name from the Muslim community. Mujhe to nahi dikhta. With great difficulty, if you scratch the surface, you'll find one Wipro. One Wipro. I struggle to find anything else on the, on the economic sort of landscape. Let's come down to your... Uh, I mean, at the basic level, in, in government, in, in intelligentsia. Where? Is, is there no basis to... Like, is it just brute majority and we will do what we want to do? Or is there any sense to it? Look, the numbers don't justify the claim. So, I mean, if there was no appeasement, then what are you correcting right now? Then you have created this bogey of appeasement to be able to go around and sell this slogan that, brother, the Hindu is in danger. Where are you, brother? 15% of the population is here for the Muslims. But from 15% of the population, it can be a danger from 70% of the population. Where are you? मैं मानता अगर पचपन फीसदी इट वॉज फिफ्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव देन आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि हाँ खतरा हो सकता है पंद्रह फीसदी सोलह फीसदी वॉट थ्रेट आर दे इज जस्ट ईजी टू विन इलेक्शन विद दिस इट्स ईजी टू डू पॉलिटिक्स इट डेफिनेटली इज सो बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ सिंस देन गेट फॉर गिवन तो पूछते हो गए ना कि उनका जमीर ये अलाउ क्यों करता है कैसे कर देता है They don't see anything wrong with it, and it's, it's fine. I I feel it's wrong. They disagree with me. <laughs> what can you do? You're not a violent man. What will you do? What has violence solved in this country? I mean, you're you're talking about a country that even attained its independence largely by non-violent. Well, there is means. a perception now that both gave us the independence, and not Gandhi. What, what can one say? <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're willing to if you're willing to completely now rewrite. the contribution of the person you call the father of the nation then i mean who are we then 
What do we not understand about radicalization of youth or the radicalized youth? That is not all externally driven. Conviction it's a very there. convenient narrative to create that Pakistan is the one that is driving radicalism here. Yes, Pakistan fishes in troubled waters. Yes, Pakistan has, uh, it will benefit from radicalization, but make no mistake. A lot of radicalization that you see in Jammu and Kashmir is a reaction to what happens in the rest of the country. When they see that majoritarianism is the rule of law in the rest of the country, uh. then their argument is if it's good for them, why not for us? Ultimately, we are Muslim majority here. How do you fight that? We, that is not how we are. I'm sure Muslim youth here or generally youth here look up to you. In some quarters. How do you deal with Look, I can only tell them what I truly believe. Which I've always tried to do. I've you always tried as far as possible to be honest with people rather than lead them up the garden path. It's not going to benefit us. But you can't help but react to what's happening in the rest of the country. And when the parliament is made, it's made for everyone. So when there's a prayer, why don't you do all the religion? When you buy a car, then why will only one religion be made? So when you do a prayer in front of the religion, what will the rest of the religion be? Why exclude? And if you are going to exclude, then how do you feel that it won't cause a reaction? Much jasa jo dunya ghum ghum ke aaya hua hai. When it pricks me, you don't think it will prick others? When I feel excluded, you don't think others will feel excluded? Ultimately, I mean, like it or not, we chose to stay here. We weren't forced to. We chose to be a part of this country. Why do you want us to feel excluded? What, 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 what is our crime? Did we, do, are you really trying to tell us we made a mistake by choosing to stay back? There are more Muslims in India than there are in Pakistan. We have the second largest Muslim majority, Muslim population in the world after Indonesia. What are, I mean, what do we want to tell them? That you're not welcome here. That you should never have stayed. That you're a second class citizen. That your sentiments don't matter. Hurts, no? I'm sure it would. Hmm. थोड़ा पॉज तो देते हैं इतना आपने पॉज दे दिया इसलिए तो बात चुप रहा इतना हैवी आंसर दे दिया कुछ तो पॉज होगा व्हाट्स योर फेवरेट मील आई मीन आई नो व्हाट आई डोंट पर्टिकुलरली लाइक व्हाट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द बीजेपी नो वेल थैंकफुली आई डोंट गेट टू ईट द बीजेपी हु uh, you have a handful of friends, but then you find somebody who you thought was a friend and you'd known for 20 years suddenly turns around and stabs you in the back. Uh, it sort of raises questions about the whole concept of, of uh, friendship in politics. And you've had those kind oh, of... Oh, I've had. Uh, more than I would like to have had. Do you want to tell us backstab? No, backstab is a lot of Okay. But it happened to some people who didn't have hope. When it went, it didn't even tell us about it. समझना और ज़्यादा आसान होता। अगर जाते-जाते ये तो कह जाते थे क्यों जा रहे हैं? ठीक है, गए तो गए। I'm sure that changes you in a way. It does. It makes you more cynical. Makes you less trusting. Can we go more into the personal frame and? Let's see how far you want to. Then I'll, I'll, I'll. There are some things that I'll just pull back. You're separated. I am. How does separation affect a person? How does it change you? What does it do to you? I mean, it makes you question a lot of things, but I don't really, I mean, nobody goes into a relationship uh, sort of with a finite end point in mind. Of course. Just how things work out or don't, or don't work out as the... But was, was mm. politics in any way... Must have been. Okay. Must have been. How lonely are you? I'm, I'm not lonely. Okay. Uh, but... I wouldn't be able to have a party of uh, more than a, I mean, well, even a dozen people would be stretching it. <laughs> a lot of relationships uh, sort of have been irretrievably altered uh, by the last couple of years. Government of India's sort of very focused attention on people 
doesn't make for very good normal relations. And when uh, people are reluctant to meet you in Sirinagar, uh, or reluctant to acknowledge friendship on social media, then uh, it becomes difficult. Like people who are known to the public eye or just no, no, other people? Other people who are just friends. Okay. Halati aise bane ke piche hi hat gaye. I mean, I I know people who would who sort of claim to be friends. Jo Srinagar mein bilkul milne ke liye taiyari nahi hai. How do you see? Do you understand that? I under I I mean, <laughs> I I'm fine with it. You don't have another. But choice. then tomorrow, no, because tomorrow when God willing things are better. Hmm. Don't think you're going to be coming to my house and taking selfies with me and putting them on Facebook because you're not. Because if you're not ready to come and meet me in Srinagar today, I'm not going to meet you in Srinagar tomorrow. I'm I'm very straightforward. सही है जैसा करोगे वैसा भरोगे. I have a lot of respect for a few people who have gone out of their way to remain in touch during this last couple of years. But at the same time, I have far less time for some people who pulled back, mm. whatever the motivation may have been. ठीक है जी जैसे भी है कोई नहीं यही सच लाइफ लाइफ गोज ऑन हाउ ऑफन डू यू क्राई नॉट वेरी ऑफन नो यू वांट गोइंग टू गिव मी अ जूसी आंसर टू दैट नो लाइज इन लाइक वंस अ वीक और डू आई हैव अ डू आई हैव अ कैलेंडर आज मंडे आज रोना चाहिए नहीं इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट आई 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 ट्राई एंड कीप इमोशंस एज मच एज पॉसिबल इन चेक समटाइम्स आई लेट लूज बट देन आई ट्राई एंड अवॉइड डूइंग दैट फॉर एन ऑडियंस ऑफ कोर्स I love the way you say Srinagar. Main, yeah, I've been told that. मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कि Srinagar बोलूँ, Srinagar ना बोलूँ. I I find like Srinagar is sexier. It's a sexy place. <laughs> it is. It definitely. A, I mean, everybody wants to be here. <laughs> it definitely. Yeah, is. Look at the f- airfares. <laughs> yeah. That is true. We go bankrupt paying for tickets. <laughs> you know, yeah. your tweet about people peeing on flights was so damn hilarious. <laughs> I've been on planes, <laughs> like since I was that high. ठीक <laughs> है. I have never felt the need <laughs> to relieve myself on another passenger. Never? Never. How strange. And <laughs> I have flown for flights that have lasted 14 to 16 hours directly from Dubai to San Francisco <laughs> and I have always been able to find a washroom. What it is these people are consuming in planes. You seem to be an exception. <laughs> that is motivating them to do this. I will never understand. Your favorite food we were at. Oh yeah, we and were digress so much. Food, yeah. <laughs> Stop digressing uh, over. I, I I mean I'm quite happy to eat almost anything. So you give me uh, a decent Chinese meal, a decent What Italian is the food meal. that you detest? I mean I'm very straightforward. I just want a normal cut of meat. Okay. Uh, don't give me the liver, kidney, all that nee? extra bits and bobs. Kaleji nahi pasand hai? Nahi ji bilkul nahi. Kaleji ki main main khaunga nahi. क्यों ना मैं नहीं खाऊंगा ना पसंद ही नहीं है नहीं खाऊंगा नॉट फोर्सिंग यू थैंक गॉड यू डोंट हैव अ प्लेट ऑफ इट शादी परोंठी और कलेजी क्या नाश्ता है परोंठी मैं खाऊं बट आई वोंट हैव द कलेजी विद इट दैट आई विल हैप्पीली गिव टू यू यू कैन हैव माय शेयर ठीक है नो गुर्दा का पूरा फॉर यू नथिंग आई एम श्योर दैट्स डिस्गस्टिंग फॉर यू नो आई वोंट कॉल इट डिस्गस्टिंग दैट्स नॉट फेयर अदर पीपल एंजॉय इट ऑफ कोर्स यस हां सो आई मीन दैट्स नॉट दैट वुड बी रॉन्ग ऑन माय पार्ट बट आई डोंट ऑफ कैमरा तो डिस्गस्टिंग ही बोलोगे नो आई स्टिल इवन ऑन ऑफ कैमरा आल्सो आई वुडंट से इट इज जस्ट आपकी क्या यादें हैं उनकी ऑफ योर ग्रैंडफादर आई रिमेंबर फर्स्ट कमिंग टू जम्मू इन द मिड 70s एंड बीइंग रिसीव्ड बाय हिम एट द रेलवे स्टेशन आई रिमेंबर गोइंग फॉर क्रिसमस गैदरिंग विद हिम टू उधमपुर आई रिमेंबर बीइंग शॉक्ड बिकॉज़ एज किड्स वी वर ऑलवेज टोल्ड दैट फादर क्रिसमस कम्स विद रेनडियर और यहां से वो आर्मी का वो इट वाज इन द नॉर्दर्न कमांड Uh, and father christmas came down the mountain on a donkey so i was like yaar ye reindeer kahan gaya ye gada kahan se aaya he had one thing every year that he did when the saffron fa- flowers were in bloom mm. on the full moon night of that month uh, the moon is reflected in the flowers mm. uh, and they would have an evening picnic there and my understanding of a picnic was चादर बिछाओ जमीन पे बैठो खाना खाओ चीफ मिनिस्टर्स डोंट पिकनिक लाइक दैट ओके तो खेत में टेबल टेबल पे खाना एवरीथिंग नाइसली लेड आउट वी स्टिल अ नाइस पिकनिक बट आई कम फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड ना वेरी रॉयल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर यू नो अदर्स डू इट आल्सो नहीं नहीं अरे तो अभी आपने तो बोला मुख्यमंत्री ऐसे नहीं करते मैं उसी बात को तो आगे लेके जा रहा हूं नहीं करते सेम बात मेरे मुंह से निकले तो आपको प्रॉब्लम है व्हाट इज वन थिंग दैट यू think is the biggest lasting thing about his legacy the land that was distributed free to people here he converted overnight landless laborers in fields into landowners 
you don't have landlords here. You only have landowners. That is why JNK has amongst the lowest levels of poverty. He envisaged medical tourism in JNK long before you had your Max and Fortis and, and Apollo and all these people. The fact that your convention center here uh, is connected by uh, uh, just a, a small corridor to a five-star hotel. The, the, the whole idea of, of uh, conference tourism, which evolved in, in Dubai and places like that decades later, I wonder whether they no, would have done that. You should make something to you. It won't be what you want to see. No? It will be like movies that get made on Kashmir are made with a particular purpose. Uh, and that is to sort of inject a bit more hatred, a bit more poison, a bit more polarization. Did you watch? They're not, no. Has that, do you see an effect here? Anger. There was a lot of anger. People felt that, that it, was, it, was, it was unfair. Uh, that yes, uh, what happened to Kashmiri Pandits was, was extremely tragic. No sensible and right-thinking Kashmiri would ever endorse. But it's not as if the population in one voice wanted everybody to leave uh, and is doing their damnedest to keep them out. Uh, but that's the narrative that... W what do you think was the response in Jammu? I think Jammu had a, probably a mixed response. Uh, uh, some must have loved it. Some must have been amb ambivalent about it. Oh, if I'm not wrong, I was reading somewhere that your grandfather did address rallies in Muzaffarabad. It's, he was sent there uh, by Nehru uh, on a peace mission after being in captivity. I've seen my father address audiences across the line of control. What are you talking about? When? In the 80s. He didn't go there, but uh -huh. the line is so close. Uh, there's this place in North Kashmir called Keran. The river runs through it. And it's not a very wide river. He was addressing a public meeting in Keran in the dark bungalow. Uh -huh. And the, the wall of the dark bungalow is the sort of where the river is. And a few meters on the other side is the other side of Kashmir. Uh -huh. And their town was there. And he was speaking to the audience on this side and that side was gathered. Before all this trouble and before everyone here was looked as a suspect, because families are divided. I know colleagues of mine who, when they wanted their sister's hath ka banaya hua khana, they would tie the bartan in a cloth, fling it across Kya the river. Honestly, I tell you, fling it across the river. And the sister would pakao the khana, tie it back up, float it in the river across, and they would pick it up and heat it and eat it. Man. That's how close Karen is. Then, then of course, the floods came and the river changed course. And you You've never be... been? I've been there. You've been? I've been. I've Where? Been. To Karen. Huh. No, no, uh, to like the, to, the other I've side. not been to the other to side the other of side. Pakistan. I've not been to the other side of Kashmir. I've been to Pakistan, uh, Islamabad a few times. I got stuck in Lahore once. You got stuck in Lahore? Yeah, I missed my flight. Achha. Because my flight out of Delhi was late and I was supposed to take a connecting flight to Islamabad. Achha, and that Lahore flight had gone. I kiya? got stuck in Lahore. <laughs> the most dreadful experience. I was, I was I was dead scared. Yeah, I did not. Dead scared of being I was, seen uh, there? Being in Pakistan. I mean, I'm a mainstream Kashmiri who has spent his entire political career debunking everything that Pakistan has said. I, I didn't even go into town. I stayed in some godforsaken hotel near the airport. How old were you? I was an MP. This was after 2000. This must have been 2004. You went to meet Musharraf, right? I did, that was hmm. uh, that was a visit. I met him after that. This was before okay. that. Was scary experience. And no phones work. I had no way of calling India because oh, I had an Indian phone. It doesn't work. They took my passport when I checked in and I was convinced I wasn't going to get my passport back. They but recognized you? No, No, I don't think they did. No? I think they just have to photocopy the passport and in the morning I got it and I scrambled back to the airport like you wouldn't believe. Scary. Every time people tell me, oh, you have to go to Lahore, the <laughs> kebabs and this and that. I said, I'm going to go to Lahore. I'm not going to go to Lahore. What's the biggest mistake in this Umar? Kashmir conflict, which we call them. You know the issue that is international now. And okay. Don't promise more than you can deliver. I don't know what the motivation was to promise a plebiscite in JNK in 47-48. I mean, that is the root cause of all our trouble now. But do you think plebiscite is a and then, of viable course, option? The, the breakdown of the dialogue with, with Musharraf. Because I think that's the closest we've come to a solution in at least a couple of generations. And I don't know whether we'll ever come as close in my lifetime. It was a crucial window. It was. And we really came close. Kuch, we, what um, detail about that about There was a lot of forward movement on issues that mm. otherwise were unthinkable. Like actual Actual, actual, actual forward movement on, on uh, sort of accepting that 
the line of control would then sort of become a, a non-existent uh, line oh. between the two. Itna ho gaya tha. General Musharraf himself said that uh, we'll move forward from from the whole plebiscite and all the rest of it. Aur woh Musharraf jaisa vyakti hi kar sakta tha. That's what I'm saying. That's the closest. And then of course he shot himself in his foot with the battle that he got into with his judiciary, and that was the end of that. But I mean that was definitely the closest we have come, and I don't see that happening in my lifetime again. Which is disappointing. Uh, you miss an opportunity, and then everything goes haywire. What stands out between Modi and Vajpayee as the biggest differentiator, or is is it not even comparable? A bit of it. It's a bit like comparing chalk and cheese, simply because I don't know. What a Vajpayee single-party government would be. I only know a Vajpayee. I only know a Vajpayee alliance. But you know Vajpayee personality. Yeah, I mean, well, at least in his dealings with JNK, he was very different. I mean, he was the one who came forward with the Jammuiyat Kashmiriyat uh, Insaniyat. Insaniyat line, which you don't see much of uh, from this from the current government. Do you miss coalition governments? No. No. Uh, no politician wants a coalition government. I would like to see one term, at least one term, in office of the current prime minister leading an unstable coalition. <laughs> I really, honestly, I would. <laughs> Man, that would be fascinating. I, I, I would. I just, just, just to see if there's any change in in demeanor, if there's any change you know, in. I would like to know what happens to him if he ever loses an election, because in his lifetime he's never lost an election. It must be tough. I would assume that it it's would. It's not easy. Yeah, uh, uh, you need sort of a different mindset to take a loss in your stride. What was the toughest thing about running the state? You ran it for six years. Jammu and Kashmir is not an easy state at the best of times. Of course. The sheer sort of differences and and balancing acts that you have to do. I mean, what works in Jammu doesn't work in Kashmir. Mm. Uh, what works in Kashmir at that time, Ladakh was part of us. Doesn't work in Ladakh. What works in Kargil doesn't work in Leh. What works for Gujars doesn't work for Pahadis. What works for Sunnis might not work for Shias. You have to be very careful of what you say because you don't want to offend or upset anybody. But apart from that, was your value system of a challenge? I'm sure there's temptation to use muscle. There's temptation to be, I don't know, use corrupt means. Hmm. How many times is your value system challenged there? Well, in that respect, politics is a constant uh, battle with your own sort of inner demons and and uh, ideologies. Uh, the thing is that can you do you sleep at night? Can you look yourself in the mirror and and not be disgusted by what you see? If you can do that, then then that's fine. Then then you are who you are. So, क्या ऐसी रातें रही हैं जहाँ आपको नींद नहीं आई है? Impossible to be chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir and not have nights where you don't sleep. Or, or, or you or you don't care enough. If you don't care, then तब तो मस्ती चल रही है. Then then you do what you like. If you have even some semblance of humanity in you, uh, then you have to have sleepless nights by some of the things that happen. If you could give me an example of Death. what kept people dying, people dying for no fault of their own. How do you sleep at night when you are asking yourself whether it could be avoided? What could have been done? That wasn't done to have avoided a situation like that. What is the conversation that happens with yourself then? Do I stay or do I go? And were there times when am you I wanted part to of resign? The, am I part of the problem or can I be part of the solution? And were there times when you wanted oh, to yeah. resign? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you see that moral fiber in leaders of your stature right now? There may have been more of it in in the past, but uh, I'd like to believe leaders like that still exist. देखो बाहर से देख के क्या लगता है कि भारतीय राजनीति ज्यादा कनिंग होती जा रही है मतलब इट्स ऑल अबाउट विनिंग द इलेक्शन एंड बट पॉलिटिक्स इज अबाउट विनिंग यार आप हारने वाले को कभी घास डालते हो अगर हारने वाले को आप लोग घास डालते तो शायद फिर हम इतनी बेसब्री से जीतने की कोशिश नहीं करते बट आई सही इज द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द मासिस दैट डिफाइंस दिस नेचर ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स आई सेइंग दैट नो डेमोक्रेसी इज अबाउट दैट नो डेमोक्रेसी वाज इज अबाउट विनिंग इलेक्शंस टू डिलीवर बट इट्स आल्सो अबाउट इवॉल्विंग अ अ नेशन सो दैट इट इट रिकॉग्नाइज वेल इफ यू डोंट इवॉल्व अ नेशन इफ यू डोंट सॉर्ट ऑफ मूव फॉरवर्ड द मासेस विल पनिश यू द ओनली वे यू विन एन इलेक्शन इज इफ द मासेस बिलीव दैट यू हैव डन इनफ टू जस्टिफाई देयर कंटिन्यूड सपोर्ट सही बात सो यू विन यू लूज आई लॉस्ट आई लॉस्ट बिकॉज़ क्लियरली the people of jammu and kashmir did not believe that i'd done enough to justify another term in office and and perfectly understandable what happens when you lose like a cm 
seat. I'm like, what? I was actually, truth be told, I was relieved. I really was. Those six years were tough. I'm sure they were. Those six years were tough. I, I actually, I heaved a sigh of relief. I think I smiled more that day than I had in a very long time. Did you feel younger after? I, I, I truly did. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I truly did. You can't have a life I had a then. very rough six years. The icing of the cake was we went out with the floods. They taught me a lot. Mm, the I would have been, if I had won the election, I would have been a very different administrator. I just, I mean, I, 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 I became a far more no-nonsense person. After the floods? After the floods. I think I had a, a far better grip on how to handle an administration because of what those floods taught me. It's just that I never got a chance to put those lessons into practice and I hope I haven't forgotten them if I do get a chance. When will the election be? Assembly? आप आप लोग समझ दो लोगों को पता आप लोग समझ लोगे तीसरे किसी को पता नहीं आप लोग समझ लोगे मैं खुद हाँ there's no there's no vacancy ही अच्छा he will he will continue at the moment okay I haven't heard anything to the contrary from him okay every once in a while we sort of get this thing that oh yes elections are just around the corner so step up activities momentum goes up and then back to so how do you keep them motivated how do you keep yourself motivated it's not easy uh, it's not easy and considering it's now been five years of governor's rule I mean, it's not as if this administration is is going great guns and delivering great stuff generally people are, are unhappy as well but you can't do much for them so that's frustrating you want to be the same again not of a union territory and not the way things are right now i'm not contesting elections for the time being we'll see what happens Vidhan Sabha nahi ladoge aap? Nahi, fil hal nahi. No, i've been chief minister of a state why would why i be would why would i want yourself? to go to a union territory where i have to beg the lieutenant governor before I can even move my peon. I'm not going to surrender my dignity. <laughs> you have three very different smiles to yourself. <laughs> Depending on which mood you're in. <laughs> and you've got all three today. Normally I just frown. Famous for scowling. I scowl a lot. Scowl kya hota hai? Meri itni angrezi achi nahi hai. Yeah. Achha, ye. Hmm. Mathe de chudiyan. Mein, ha, wohi. Mein, mein, muskarata nahi hai. Kyo? Itni badiya smile hai aapki. Mashallah, itni badiya shakal hai. Aray, wah, wah. Wah. Aap kya bolo? आपको पर्सनली अपनी पार्टी के लिए यात्रा के बाद कुछ होप दिखती है या यात्रा फॉर व्हाट भारत जोड़ो यात्रा हिज यात्रा वोंट चेंज द नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेस पोल प्रोस्पेक्ट्स ओनली ओनली थिंग दैट ओनली थिंग दैट विल चेंज फॉर अस इज दैट व्हिच वी डोंट सी मच साइन ऑफ एट द मोमेंट इज द कांग्रेस गेनिंग ग्राउंड इन जम्मू जम्मू विल स्टिल वोट फॉर द बीजेपी यू फील आई थिंक इवन द बीजेपी इज नॉट एंटायरली श्योर व्हिच इज व्हाई यू डोंट हैव असेंबली इलेक्शंस एट द मोमेंट इफ द बीजेपी वर कॉन्फिडेंट दैट दे वुड गेट द वोट्स इन जम्मू they would have called assembly elections by now do you now. see a future where nc is powerful in jammu no we will always have stakes in jammu we will of always course. be relevant in jammu we will never be for jammu what we are for kashmir and the same is true for the congress the con- this is what the congress doesn't understand which i'm trying to explain to them but they don't seem to want to figure is that it's the reverse for them mm. their base is jammu they will always do best in jammu their bonus is the valley they need to make sure their base is strong the bonus seats they'll pick up every once in a while those are largely individual based seats but the problem is while trying to be more relevant in kashmir inevitably they end up damaging their base in jammu which is which is sort of hurts us also in the long run kafi fascinating state ye jo do division mein bata hua hai nahi aasan nahi hai bahut fascinating state and then within the divisions uh-huh. jammu plains are different from the hills of jammu what rajori thinks doda won't think it's a very tricky tight rope walk to the uninitiated like me and the two divisions are divided just based on the basis of religion no. or is there more to it no it's just i guess the mountains came in the way the yeah. basically the division is along this peer panchal range wo to theek hai par religious demographic bhi to fir it evolved after 90 hmm. but otherwise you did have minority population here you hmm. still do just not as much as you used to have Kashmir was Muslim majority, Jammu was Hindu majority, but within Jammu you have pockets where the population ratio is very close, uh, particularly along these mountains. Mm. Uh, 45, 55, 40, 60. What is the one thing that people like me don't understand about being in politics? I think a lot of people believe that because you come from a political family, everything is a bed of roses. It couldn't be fur- that couldn't be further from the truth. All that means is that you get your first step in the door slightly easier than others but after that your work determines how far you go and you're also subject to far greater scrutiny and you also inherit enemies uh, that you haven't made through your own actions yeah, uh, 
uh, which actually in the beginning I found very difficult. I found people disliked me but had no idea who I was. They disliked me because they either didn't like my grandfather or they didn't like my father or they didn't like both of them. So they automatically assumed that they wouldn't like me and probably even now uh, choose not to like me, uh, even though uh, they know nothing about me. Has the idealism decreased? Has there been... Yeah, I mean, there's certainly a lot more realism. There's a lot more cynicism. 20 plus years in politics, that too in JNK, mm. having seen what we've seen, I would have to be a machine uh, to not have a bit of cynicism injected into me. So that's that's par for the course. I but guess a bit a bit of I mean I'd like to believe a bit of maturity as well. I mean, life teaches you. I always thought that sort of age was an uh, an overrated concept and that somehow you could be wise uh, <laughs> while still being young. Okay. Uh, I have since realized that that was my own foolishness and that age does give you a certain amount of wisdom that you can't inherit and you can't buy and you can't read. Mm -hmm. So that's my bit of wisdom for today. <laughs> Do you respect the old people more now? I think I always respected them, but I felt that I had already earned my place, which I now realize uh, was a, a foolhardy belief. Do you think about retiring from politics? Uh, everybody does at some stage. Uh, but like a real thought of... No, of course. Yeah? Yeah, well, one, one must have I, these thoughts. Look, the day you stop contributing, you should walk away. Because in the Simi Garewal interview, he said, your father said that he is thinking of... Yeah, that was a long time ago. Sahi baat hai. No, he yeah. did step back. Huh, he, he did. did step back. He did. He stepped back, but he didn't step away completely. He stepped back. I think everyone has a, I mean, there's a, there's a finite point, an age at which, uh, when you feel that you're no longer making a positive contribution, just step back. Are your children interested? It's not really a conversation I've had with them. They're okay. still, they're How still, old are they? if, if they're doing their masters right now. Okay, uh, both of them. Both they're of them. They're, they've just, they've just become lawyers. Are they twins? No, they're Achha. actually a year apart, but Achha. one took a gap year. Achha. So the younger one caught up. Uh, and they graduated together, they became lawyers together, they've joined the bar together. LLM kar rahe ab? Huh? LLM kar rahe ab? No, they're doing a master's in international relations. Achha. Uh, they, thought in, they went to London. Uh, they wanted to get a slightly wider sort of perspective. Uh, now I'm hoping uh, they actually start practicing law because you can never have enough lawyers. <laughs> Which is your favorite court? Favorite court? Favorite court. Yeah. The court that gives me a judgment. Basically none. Well, at the moment, unfortunately none. But whichever one gives me will automatically become my favorite court. Chat GPT use kar rahe ho kuch? No. I Nain. tried it. It's damn good. Yeah. yeah. You've tried it? I've tried it. Have you written that Kashmiri National Conference leader wants to give a speech in Kumbhara? No, I asked it to draft me a couple of tweets and it did a damn good job. Y you used it? I won't tell you. Hey, come on over, come on. <laughs> no, no, but I did draft and it I asked it to draft me a letter. Achha. I was very impressed. I never had to send the letter, but I asked it to draft a letter for me to the Lieutenant Governor of JNK hmm. opposing imposition of property tax. Bloody good draft. Three paragraphs. And if I was sending a letter, hmm. I would have sent that letter. I would have signed it with my eyes closed. It made the perfect case for not imposition. And it's first draft. I didn't even ask it to redraft it. I just asked it to please That's draft. Wonderful, yeah. I asked, I said, draft a letter from me to the Lieutenant Governor of JNK opposing imposition of property tax in the territory. It really is scary. And I know for a fact if I'd asked somebody in the office to draft it, mm. it would have gone through three or four drafts. If I'd done it myself, I would have corrected my letter two or three times. This damn thing gave me a perfect draft in the first shot. It gave me tweets. <laughs> Honestly, it gave me tweets. That's I'm nice. not joking. I mean, it's a different matter whether I need them or not. I, I asked, I asked Chat GPT to give me tweets for uh, religious festival greeting. And I, I, I honestly didn't. I thought it would tell me I don't know what this is. I got a tweet which I could have copy pasted. Oh man! And it would have been absolutely fine. It was pitch perfect as a greeting for the festival. My office had already given me a template which I put out, which worked no, fine. Ha! Huh. But. Seriously, it's scary what these bloody machines can do. Kya karna fir? I don't know what I don't know what Thought the answer is. Do, do we have to do a I, uh, I seriously I mean, two karna kya? Uh, I mean going ahead, I don't know what, what you are going to do. But is it a Skynet situation or not? Huh? Is it a Terminator 2 Skynet situation? I don't know. I wouldn't have believed yeah. it. I, I honestly I used it on a on a as a as a joke. Experiment. Chalo dekhe kya hai. I came back from there. I told these guys in the car we were coming back from somewhere. Hmm. I said, I can't believe the sort of responses this damn thing is generating. The only thing that I found faulty with ChatGPT is that its information is a year old. 
because I asked it, I asked it a question about something and it gave me a response that was, yeah, that was incorrect because its answer was based on last year's information. Last year's information. I can't remember what it was. It was something political. Uh, it could be Modi's approval ratings. No, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> that though, they never drop, so chat GPT would never be wrong. Uh, but uh, chat GPT is only flaw. But then they've upgraded it mm -hmm. now for the subscription one. This is no longer a factor. But in the free to use chat GPT, this one year thing is a problem. But other than that, I wouldn't like to be a teacher having to mark essays now. I really wouldn't. I don't know how you will deal with plagiarizing. Right, what will you do? Someone calling? Hmm. That's is okay, the, is it, it the LG? No, no. <laughs> okay? उस कैमरा में देख के उमर इट्स बिन अ प्लेजर अगर और टाइम होता तो मैं और सवाल पूछता इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिशियंस अबाउट बाइडेन आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट ओबामा आल्सो फिर करते हैं वो सब करेंगे इस कैमरा में देख के उमर क्या मुझे पता है आपको मजा आया तो आपका एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा और दूसरा कि देखें आप मैंने जिंदगी में कभी 2.5 घंटे की इंटरव्यू नहीं की है और और ये साथी मेरे खड़े हैं पौने 3 घंटे मैं अपने फैमिली को नहीं देता ओ मैन दफ्तर में मैं पौने तीन घंटे की मीटिंग नहीं करता मैं एक फ्रेंडशिप बैंड तो अब पौने तीन घंटे का इंटरव्यू ये शायद ही मैं फिर कभी करूंगा दैट इन इट्सल्फ टेल्स यू प्लीज आज पीपल टू सब्सक्राइब टू दैनल अनफिल्टर्ड बाय संदीश प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अनफिल्टर्ड बाय संदीश ही मैनेज टू गेट मी टू सिट इन वन प्लेस फॉर टू आवर्स एंड फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स नो बडी एल्स इज डन दिस बिफोर दैट इन इट सेल्फ इज रीजन इन आफ टू सब्सक्राइब एंड आई नो आई नो आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट दैट्स अज कॉम्प्लीमेंट आई एम सेलिंग सीरियसली आई नेवर डन एन इंटरव्यू दिस लॉन्ग इन माई लाइफ थैंक्स लॉट इवन अ जॉब इंटरव्यू वॉज नेवर दिस लॉन्ग इट इज माई प्लेजर इट्स बिन फन थैंक यू सो मच ओके ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू आपको मैंने डेढ़ साल से चेस कर रहा था उनको भी तो दैट लॉन्ग है ना करते वन एंड हाफ ईयर रियली आई एम सो सॉरी नहीं नहीं अरे सॉरी ये बात है नो नो बिकॉज़ वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स अगो आई हैडन्ट डन राहुल गांधी सो आई एम श्योर यू नो नो इट वाजंट दैट दैट ऑनेस्टली हैड नथिंग टू डू विद इट ओके बट देन दिस लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स हैव नॉट एग्जैक्टली बीन नॉर्मल एंड ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग इफ वी डन दिस इंटरव्यू लास्ट ईयर और अर्ली दिस ईयर you would have found a very different me you seem to be in a better frame of mind i'm in a better frame of mind now than i have been 